Hey chickadees and welcome back to my channel. It's Robin. Today I wanted to do a pregnancy update. I haven't really done one this whole entire pregnancy, but a lot has happened in the past month. Um, so I wanted to update you guys. This is going to be primarily for weeks 32 through 34 as I'm currently 34 weeks and 6 days pregnant. So if you are interested in my symptoms, what's been going on, uh, keep on watching. And as always, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Um, so we'll just start off. I'm going to be looking down occasionally at my phone because I have all my notes on here. Um, the first substantial thing that happened was around, I believe it was in week 32. On February 2nd, I actually ended up going to the hospital with fairly regular contractions. And I just want to pull up, I use the Ovia pregnancy tracker. And they have a contraction timer in the app, which is super handy. But I want to see if I can find the day that I went to the hospital. The day that I went to the hospital, I started tracking them at 1.59 p.m. and they were coming every three to four minutes for an hour. Now, of course, everything you read says get your butt to the hospital and when I even called my doctor, she was like, yeah, you need to go. So I went to the hospital again. I did make a video before about going to the hospital at around 28 weeks, um, thinking that perhaps my water had broken, but I was back. So at the hospital this time, they did a swab again for BV for any sort of amniotic fluid leakage, things like that. Um, nothing came back on there except for still having the bacterial vaginosis, which is not a surprise to me as I decided to not take the medicine for it, just basing it off of what happened with my son. Um, I did do a whole video on that as well. If you want to check it out, I can leave a link down below for you guys. And they also, um, so when I got to the hospital, of course, my contractions kind of stopped. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're going to make a liar out of me here, little buddy. But then they did start picking up again, and they were able to see it on the monitor. Um, I know they have like a scale of 0 to 100. And every 2 to 3 minutes... They were like between 40 and 60 on that scale. They were not super painful at all. Um, but I did know that I was having them and was a little concerned because I was only 32 weeks pregnant. So they went ahead and because they saw that I was having contractions, they did a transvaginal ultrasound to measure my cervix and they said everything looked good. So they just gave me some IV fluids to hopefully help um, slow down the contractions. So once I had my IV fluids in, um, I had been at the hospital at this point for about four hours and the contractions did slow down enough for them to feel comfortable with sending me home, especially since they didn't notice any cervical changes going on. They just said keep drinking water, stay hydrated, and rest. And then pretty much every single night since then I have had contractions that are timeable that fall between two and six minutes apart. The only thing that's keeping me from going back is that while some nights the contractions are way worse, like I now I'm feeling them in my pelvis and in my cervix and in my um, rectum. And before it was only like my back and my stomach. Now it's like back, stomach, and pushing down. So I do feel like they're getting more, um, not, not, I mean, some of them can be painful, but not to the point where I can't like talk through them. Um, but they are gaining strength in that sense. But one night will be really strong contractions and then the next night will be like really weak contractions. So there's no consistency yet. Um, so that's, that's what happened around 32 weeks. I also noticed that my, uh, boobs started leaking. I was always, you know, noticing just little tiny um, spots of colostrum coming out of my nipple, but it was like oozing at this point. Um, it's since stopped doing that. Um, I haven't really noticed any leakage since right around 33 weeks. Um, and then starting at 33 weeks, I started getting heartburn. 
pretty badly that it would keep me up at night for like it was like three nights in a row that I could barely sleep because it felt like I was just gonna choke on my own acid reflux and that was not fun. Since then um, the baby has dropped. I went to an ultrasound this past Thursday and she said that he is in the birthing position and he is measuring about 34 and a half weeks along. Um, but I do notice since he's dropped that I can kind of breathe a little bit better. I haven't had heartburn. But I do notice a ton more um, pelvic pressure just walking. I feel like I can feel his head between my legs. I have gotten that lightning crotch sensation if he like n hits my cervix really hard. Or if I am like squatting and I stand up. Um, I'll feel kind of like a shock. And then my inner thighs have been really really sore. Um, like right around my hips on my inner thighs they are so sore some nights I just feel like they're on fire one thing I have not noticed this pregnancy which I had really bad with my son is um, swelling at this point in my pregnancy with my son I had to take off my wedding ring my feet were so swollen um, that was one of the first signs of preeclampsia, although I didn't know at the time. But I have had zero swelling this time, and I don't know if it's just because I drink so much water. I feel like I did with my son, but this pregnancy I always have to have a cup of water with me, constantly drinking water. Um, so that's been nice, not having to deal with swelling. But I also have been noticing an increase in the need to poop. Normally, I'm fairly constipated. It's like every two days that maybe I will have a bowel movement. But lately, it's like every day. And when I have to poop, like I have to poop right then. Otherwise, my stomach really hurts. And I get, you know, that feeling right before you're about to have diarrhea. You get really sweaty and like, ugh. I've been having that for the past few days too. <clears throat> and I've been super emotional um, I don't know. I just want to cry. I am getting pretty overwhelmed um, by my toddler, trying to keep up with him, trying to move around and chase after him. He's going through like this phase this past week where he just wants to push all of the boundaries, try to get up on the kitchen table, try to go down this huge flight of stairs we have to our basement. <sighs> Basically doing everything he's not supposed to do and it has been really hard for me to try to keep my cool and not let it overwhelm me. And I feel really bad because I know this is like the last few weeks that we have together and he's just getting under my skin a lot. I don't know if you can hear him right now, he's out there with my husband and this is, he just whines all day long and I want to pull my hair out. <sighs> and I'm just trying to remind myself that He's probably, I think he's probably sensing something is going to change, but he doesn't know what. And I'm really nervous for this transition. He is glued to my hip, and I think he might be jealous. So I don't really know what to expect with that. So as far as other symptoms, I've had really bad insomnia. I can hardly sleep at night. I maybe get four hours a night if I'm lucky. I'm up to use the bathroom at least two, three times a night. I can't get comfortable if I lay on my side. Baby kicks me really hard to get me off of my side. And if I go to the other side, it's like the same thing. I have to find like the perfect middle, like on my back, but kind of arched up on a pillow behind my butt to try to get comfortable, but it's really hard. And then my contractions start like pretty much at 12 o'clock at night, every single night for, and they last anywhere from one to two to three hours. So when they are painful, it's hard to sleep through them. So I've had to take a lot of naps, having trouble. I mean, during the day, it's like kind of hard to have energy. Uh, but I do have like these crazy bursts at like 10 or 11 o'clock at night where I need to clean something. I'll go and f clean the kitchen and I'll go and clean our bathroom. I'll do laundry, whatever. It's like I don't feel... I have like a lot of anxiety like things are not prepared and I need to clean and then I just can't fall asleep at all so that's been fun just all preparation of not sleeping once this baby comes I guess luckily my husband you know comes home at like 2 and I can sometimes take a nap in the afternoon which has been helpful but I'm probably averaging like six hours of sleep between nighttime and daytime sleep so 
it's been rough. I have noticed also an increase in low back pain and sciatica. I have struggled with sciatica before with my past pregnancy and this one, it just, it's really unpleasant. You can barely walk, like you want to cry if you move the wrong way. It's super unpleasant, but the low back pain I've been noticing a lot more since I think the baby dropped. It's just, my back is really tight. When I do have a contraction, it's like fire back there. Another thing I have noticed is when I am wiping, I am getting more um, clear mucus discharge. You know how you kind of are on the lookout for egg white cervical mucus when you're trying to get pregnant? And that's the kind of mucus discharge I've been having more of. Um, I would say again, since probably 32 weeks, I've been having more of that discharge every time I wipe. And from what I've read, you know, people say it could be the mucus plug. I have not had like a bloody show yet, anything like that, which is good. My uh, my water hasn't broken. I haven't, I didn't have a natural labor with my first son. I don't really know what to expect. Um, everything that I've been feeling on, if I had a bet on it, I would have bet that I, I would have already gone into labor because I felt like I was going to a few times here so far. Uh, I am thinking though that I'm not going to make it till my 39 week scheduled C-section. I do believe that this child is going to try to come out early. Um, you know, I had my son at 37 weeks and he was really healthy. He had a little bit of jaundice, but he didn't need any NICU time. So if I can just make it, you know, two more weeks and then I can kind of breathe a little bit knowing that if he does come that he should be pretty good. It's kind of crazy to think that in two weeks I could even have this baby. Um, you know, I have some anxiety about being, going from one to two kids and having them be two under two. I'm excited to meet um, our baby, but whew, I'm nervous and I'm really scared of how Phoenix is going to react to it. Like I said, he's such a mama's boy, so bad, and I just feel like he gets jealous if the cat sits on me too, so I'm like so scared. But I'm really hoping that he will help me with the baby, you know, as much as he can, and that he will love his brother, and it won't be too much of a battle, <laughs> but... We'll have to see. At least my husband will be home. So we can divide and conquer. But that's been my symptoms so far. Um, it's for me, of course, I'm, I'm on Google all the time. And everything that I have told you guys about is like, oh, you're definitely going to be going into labor soon. Especially because your baby's dropped, blah, blah, blah. And I keep waiting for it because I honestly feel like any night now I'm just going to wake up with really bad contractions or my water's going to break or at some point soon I'm going to have a bloody show. <sighs> I don't know. I did not feel this way with my son. I did have an irritable uterus with him, so I did have off and on like Braxton Hicks for the last few weeks of my pregnancy, but nothing like this. And I am, you know, ready for <laughs> Atlas, the baby, to come. I just want him to be healthy, so I'm just trying, trying, trying to be patient, but it is really hard. Really hard, because I'm in a lot of pain, and I'm just exhausted. It's like, it's mentally draining, because I constantly think I'm going into labor, and then the contractions just stop, and I can manage to get a couple hours of sleep at start the day, and then I think it's going to happen again. So it's a roller coaster, um, and... I know they, I think they mentioned prodromal labor. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But basically it's where you're having contractions that are very real contractions, but they're doing little to nothing to change your cervix. Um, at least that's what the hospital said back at 32 weeks. I do have a doctor's appointment um, this coming Tuesday. It's currently Saturday. And first of all, I need to get my C-section, <laughs> my C-section scheduled because they still have not scheduled it, which is so frustrating. And I also think I want to see if she can do a cervical check because of how many contractions I've had. And I'm just curious if it's caused any cervical changes at all, or if this is just purely for nothing, because 
I just want to know. I do feel like we're going to be on baby watch very soon. I have my hospital bag packed, baby's hospital bag packed, ready to go. Uh, my husband will probably leave the hospital later at night so he can come put our son to bed so he won't feel so uh, like lonely or, and missing you know both of his parents um so I'm not packing a bag for my husband he's just gonna come home take a shower get dressed whatever but if you guys are interested I will probably be doing a what's in my hospital bag video um, in the next week I think it's getting close to time for baby but I do definitely plan on a labor and delivery vlog I wanted to do it with my son I just didn't have the right equipment and now that I do I definitely want to film that just for myself you know if nothing else if any of you guys are in your third trimester please leave a comment down below let me know what symptoms you guys are experiencing if anything I talked about sounds like I might actually be going into labor soon or just normal pregnancy stuff but thank you guys so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel to be a part of the flock I'd really appreciate it and until next time I hope you guys have a great rest of your day bye